Mega steak man. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this VR mocap update. I've got a really cool piece of code that allows you to get rid of two feet trackers, as well as one that allows you to get rid of the chest tracker. So that's three trackers you can get rid of on your system. And what's really cool about that is it uh, allows you to get more actors in the scene. And, um, and it's also sorry if I'm speaking a little bit differently. I just had Invisalign done today, but um, hopefully you'll bear with me and we'll take a look at some of the new features. Okay, so here we've got a scene with the VR mocap camera, the player pawn, but no actor. Now we want to go into components and bring in the VR mocap movement actor. The no feet mode is dependent on the movement actor because I'm using the capsule to actually get the speed that you're moving in as well as the direction. So that's important. You can't do that with um, your traditional kind of just simple blueprint that you set up for an actor. It has to be the movement actor. But we don't want to use the mannequin. We want to use a different mesh. So I'm just going to select the mesh underneath the movement actor, such so as this one here. And I'm going to search for Lars. Okay, so basically Lars is a different skeleton, so he has a different animation blueprint. So we're just going to search for a Character Creator 3, because that's what he is. And I provided a, a VR mocap Character Creator 3 animation blueprint. Also underneath here, the mocap actor component. We want to make sure that this says Character Creator 3, because he's not a mannequin anymore. If you're using a mannequin, you can just leave it you know, default, because that's what it comes to, um, just out of the box. But uh, yeah, this is all set up now. We just have to delete out the trackers from the player pawn. So if you want to delete a tracker, you want the system to fake in a tracker, you have to open up this live link tracker names and delete them out. So you can see here, I've removed the chest, the elbows and the feet. You can't remove the head or the pelvis at this current point. Uh, those are too important. The system will, will fail if you don't have those. But we can get rid of, you can see quite a few trackers. That's five trackers from this uh, setup that we can remove. So now I'm going to line myself up with the actor. Again, you can see head, pelvis, hands. That's it. Okay, let's see. That's fairly good. So I'm walking around my real world room and you can see it's faking in footstep movement. It'll actually do side steps when I'm stepping to the side. It'll walk forward when I'm walking forward. I can also turn and it'll be based on my forward uh, direction. And this also combines with the joystick. So here I'm using the joystick. Now I can go back to walking around the room. Um, same thing as before where you can't walk through objects like my character capsule will not allow me to walk through objects. So essentially you are a mocapped game character. Uh, pretty amazing. So another cool thing that I've added in is camera based movement. So before in my system, if you held up up on the D-pad or the joystick rather, you would always go in the actor forward. But here you can see it's actually dependent on the camera angle. Although when you do switch over to like, you know, these views, um, was, oh, <laughs> I didn't set the uh, focus target. But anyways, um, this is tank controls because I figured that's, that makes more sense for this to be tank controls because you're already behind the character. So on the movement actor, I changed the way the camera system works. Right now I'm using a spring arm. So you can see it's trying to prevent clipping through the wall. The camera is doing a little trace. So I have that for this, this viewpoint. And also if you go over the shoulder, if I turn again, you can see it's trying to prevent going through the wall because again, the camera system is now using a spring arm. Before what I was doing was I was actually just like, you know, taking the bone, extruding it out in space. And that's where the camera placement was. But uh, I was noticing on my VTuber setup that was causing a lot of issues. Whoa! This thing's so much fun to just pilot around, being a video game character. So for the last feature I want to show on the camera, I'm in my VTuber setup. So you can use the VR mocap project for VTubing. That's what I do on Twitch TV, Mega Steak Man Plays. Uh, but uh, what the feature is, let me just activate it now, is a springy camera arm that will actually follow you around where you go. Because I was finding when I was locomoting and having my little adventures around the play space, uh, it wasn't capturing everything. So I haven't put this into the system yet, but I've worked on this uh, kind of capture volume. So if I walk into the volume, it switches to the, that camera angle. But yeah, you basically got like a survival horror game situation happening right now with that. But yeah, the, the camera motion is quite nice from the spring. And it's trying to actually put my head on like the third line. Uh, depending on what the camera focal length is, so uh, and depending on how close I am to the camera. 
but it works pretty well. Like I'm actually pretty pleased with the system. And this is uh, already included in the VR mocap um, camera. Let's actually take a look at it. If you just look up the, um, I think it's called VR mocap spectator camera, we've got springy look at, and that'll look at whatever the uh, mocap actor is. So you have to calibrate first so it knows what the mocap actor is. So another component that I added in is the shake component. So we're just gonna add shake component. And this is basically Cinema 4D's vibrate tag, but in Unreal Engine. So I'm just gonna press play here. And you can see we've got some shake motion. I'm just gonna select the actor, grab the shake component. And you can change a lot of things like the speed, <laughs> make it really crazy. The alpha of the shake, so there's no shake or negative shake or you know crazy amounts of shake. Um, the maximum amount. So actually we can just, if we delete out everything but the Z, now we've got like a video game that's, you know, object that's kind of bouncing up and down. And if we change the complexity to zero, it's just going to oscillate. Let me actually get rid of the rotation so it's easier to see. So it's just going to oscillate between the two. But if we add in complexity, let's go to two, it's adding a little bit more variance onto what's, what's going to happen with it particularly if we increase these values. So I think it goes up to four as far as complexity. It's basically just like, it's morphing all these other base transforms underneath. The thing that sucks about the system right now is it doesn't take into account movement. So um, this will basically look at the object's orientation in world space and just add the shake onto that, rather than like sampling if it's moving in the timeline or animating. It won't sample that and then add the shake on top of it. I could really use some help if anyone knows how to do that. Um, the, I'm probably not gonna touch the shake component for a while, but I think this would be really useful to just add, you know, to either a camera, a light, maybe a tracker. You just wanna create some breathing motion on a tracker that doesn't exist. Um, yeah, shake component would be really, really cool. But again, it has that limitation where it's kind of freezing objects in place. It's not um, taking into account what the transform of the object should be before it, you know, shakes. So yeah, those are the new changes to the VR mocap project. I think that the, a lot of stuff is going to be really helpful for people that don't have as many trackers and also just people who want to have more actors in the scene. Again, I'm trying to prepare for a 72 hour film festival at the end of the month. So that's why I'm trying to add a lot of code in that'll help me with that process. So it's, thanks so much for taking a look and I'll see you next time.